Hey guys, it's Wednesday. I'm outside to create some art today because it is a beautiful day. You don't have to do this outside though. You can do it inside or wherever you'd like. We're gonna do a quick little print making project. Print making, I love it, you love it, it's fun, it's messy. You need shaving cream, food coloring, the liquid kind. I actually have the gel kind. I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of water and it'll work just fine. You need paper and then some sort of thin cardboard or like a plastic card, like an old gift card, something that you don't need anymore, but it's a little bit stiff. All right, gather your supplies, meet me with all of your stuff. Let's get started. I've gathered my supplies and I'm ready to start creating. I'm gonna use a cookie sheet to make my prints on because that's gonna make for a really easy, super easy cleanup later, but you honestly could do this straight onto a surface and it would work just fine. I'm gonna start by taking the shaving cream and spreading it out. I have an icing spreader, but you can use a spoon, you could use a butter knife, you could even use your hands. But the key is to make sure that the icing, or not the icing, don't eat this, it's not icing, it looks like it, but it's not. The shaving cream is is nice and even as smooth as you can get it you don't want it lumpy lumpy I cut my paper in half so I'm gonna make some cards later so I need to make sure that I have enough shaving cream so it's gonna cover the entire page once you have that ready you're ready to start dripping your food coloring straight onto your shaving cream I'm using blue yellow and pink because those are the three primary colors and those three primary colors we know are the three colors that make up all of the other colors. So you're gonna see some really awesome colors come out when I start swirling this around. Speaking of swirling it around, you're gonna look at the next step. I'm gonna take a toothpick and start swirling all of my colors of my shaving cream. I see some green and some orange already and start making some beautiful lines, 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 lines. I don't want to do this too much because if you do it too much, you're going to end up with one muddy mud color and it's going to look like muddy mud, yeah. And that's all it's going to look like. So don't swirl it so much that you lose all of your colors. Once you're happy with your design, we're ready to start our print making. You're going to take your paper and very carefully and gently lay it on top of the shaving cream. I don't want to smush it around. I don't want to wiggle it around. I'm going to take my hand and very carefully tap, tap, tap on the back of your paper to make sure that the whole paper is going to be in contact with shaving cream. From one end of your paper, peel it up nice and slow and it doesn't look like a whole lot right now it's not looking at all like the design that you made but don't worry here is where the magic happens remember that little piece of cardboard you had to have I'm gonna use a business card an old business card and I'm gonna start very carefully in one direction starting from one end of the paper to the other scraping it all off it's going to reveal that beautiful squirrel design that you made it's honestly so awesome. I'm going to zoom in on it in just a second so you can see all the beautiful details. With my leftover shaving cream, I actually have enough to pull another print without adding any more shaving cream or any more food coloring. We're going to do it the same exact way you did before. You can use this paper marbling technique for so many things. For cards, for decorations, for signs, or just for beautiful artwork. Um, I hope you really enjoyed this quick little art club project. Show me what you made, guys. <laughs> 